Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of Betology Life here on Sports Energy. Yes, my name is Adam. If today is your first time watching Betology here, we try to find strategies, tactics, and also guidelines to make profit out of bed. So please make sure to subscribe and turn on notification. In today's video, we are going to talk about the predictions for the EPL Game Week 18. Yes, Game Week 18. So if you are interested in getting Game Week 18 predictions for the EPL so that you can make profit out of it, you are watching the right channel. Please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You can also join our Telegram group. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it. And I'm going to begin with the prediction. And the first game would be Crystal Palace versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Now, Crystal Palace have not won any home game in their last seven games they have not won any of their home games in their last seven games and also brighton and over Albion do not keep a clean shirt this season they are one team that they concede a lot and this will be my prediction for crystal palace versus brighton and over Albion. a way to score at least one goal which is brighton and over Albion to score at least one goal so a way over 0 0.5 the second prediction would be total goals of the match over 1.5 over 1.5 and then third prediction would be home plus two goals handicap. Crystal Palace plus two goals handicap. So guys, to the next game, which will be Aston Villa versus Sheffield United. Now, Aston Villa have not lost in their last six games. And also, Aston Villa have been a very good home record. They have not lost any game at home this season. And also, Sheffield, on the other on the hand, they have lost every single away game they have played in the EPL and they are the worst team in the EPL. This would be my prediction for Aston Villa versus Sheffield United. Home to win. First prediction, home to win. Second prediction would be total goals over 1.5. Second prediction, total goals over 1.5. Third prediction will be second half multi goals 1 to 3. Second half multi goals 1 to 3. Now, the third game would be West Ham versus Manchester United. And West Ham, um, at least, scores a goal in a game they play in the EPL. They score at least a goal in a game they play in the EPL. And also, every home game they have played this season in the EPL results in at least two goals or more. So definitely, you could get an over 1.5 in every game West Ham has played at home this season. Manchester United, on the other hand, they had a very good performance against Liverpool. But they, have, they don't have a consistent performance. They are doing well one time. The other time they are not doing well and this will be my prediction for west ham versus manchester united first prediction would be total goals over 1.5 total goals over 1.5 second prediction would be home over 0 0.5 home over 0 0.5 and then the third prediction would be home or away home or away now the fourth game would be Tottenham versus everton Tottenham versus everton now Tottenham have been able to beat the likes of Newcastle and Nottingham Forest quite recently. And in every game they have played, which is Tottenham, the, the total goals are more than two. Yes, they are either at least two or more. Yes, two or more. And also Everton, on the other hand, they have not lost in their last four games. Everton have not lost in their last four games. So this is going to be a very tight and close contest between Tottenham and Everton. But this would be my prediction for that game. Corner over 8.5. Tottenham versus Everton. First prediction, corner over 8.5. Corner over 8.5. Second prediction will be total goals over 1.5. Total goals over 1.5. Third prediction will be second half multi goals 1 to 3. Second half multi goals 1 to 3. Now, the fifth game would be Nottingham Forest versus Bournemouth. Nottingham Forest versus Bournemouth. Nottingham Forest have sacked their coach. Yes, they have sacked their coach, Steve Cooper, and they brought in Nuno Santos. So, definitely, there will be that new manager bounce with Nottingham Forest. They have not won any game in their last six games. And also, Bournemouth, on the other hand, have won at least all their last five games. And they, their last game against Newton Town was postponed. It ended 1 1, but then an incident happened and then it got postponed. So, so far in their last five games, no losses. They have won all their last five games. And this will be my prediction for Nottingham Forest versus Bournemouth. Total goals in that game would be over 1.5. First prediction over 1.5 second prediction will be second half multi goals 1 to 3 second half multi goals 1 to 3 and then the third prediction would be away over 0 0.5 away to score at least one goal but not to score at least one goal so away over 0 0.5 now the sixth game would be Luton Town versus Newcastle United now Luton Town have not kept a clean sheet in their last 19 games Luton Town has not kept a clean sheet in their last 19 games Newcastle United they have no win 
in their last five away games they have not won any game in their last five away games and this is going to be interesting but this will be my prediction for Luton town versus newcastle united away win or draw away win or draw first prediction second prediction would be second half multi goals one to three second half multi goals one to three third prediction would be total goals over 1.5 Total goals over 1.5. Now to the seventh game, it would be Fulham versus Burnley. Fulham versus Burnley. Now Fulham has lost only one game in their last five home games. Fulham has lost only one game in their last five home games. That means they have won other four games at home. Now Burnley have not won any game in their last five games. Burnley has not won any game in their last five games. And this will be my prediction for Fulham versus Burnley. First prediction will be home win or draw. Home win or draw. Second prediction total goals over 1.5. Second prediction total goals over 1.5. Third prediction would be first half home win or draw. First half home win or draw. So guys, please kindly take note of that. Now let's move on to the rest of the uh, matches. The eighth game would be Liverpool versus Arsenal. And this game is quite tough. That would be the big game within match week or match day 18 and then uh, with liverpool they have no lost at home this season in the epo yes they have a very clean record at home this is in the epo and with arsenal they have only one loss in five games that loss came against aston villa so arsenal have only one loss in their last five games now this would be my prediction for this game but also to add up to it they are head to head liverpool has never lost to arsenal anytime liverpool is playing at home in the EPL, Liverpool has never lost to Arsenal anytime they are playing at home in the EPL. And this will be my prediction for Liverpool versus Arsenal. First prediction would be home win or draw. Home win or draw. That's Liverpool win or draw. Second prediction would be corner over 8.5. Corner over 8.5. And then the third prediction would be away plus two goals handicap. That is Arsenal plus two goals handicap. Now the ninth game would be Wolves versus Chelsea. Wolves versus Chelsea. Now, Wolves have not lost at home in their last six games. Wolves have not lost at home in their last six games. Chelsea, on the other hand, have lost their last three away games. Chelsea have lost their last three away games. Chelsea are not consistent. They are doing well today. The next day, they are not doing well. And this will be my prediction for this particular game. Total goals in this game would be over 1.5. First prediction, over 1.5. Second prediction will be home or away. Home or away. Second prediction, home or away. Third prediction will be home plus two goals handicap. Home plus two goals handicap. That is Wolves plus two goals handicap. So guys, these are my matches that will be playing in game week eight. In Man City are playing the club, club World Cup. So definitely there are no way to feature in this. So these are nine teams. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. If you have your own prediction about the EPL games, let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to join my Telegram group. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to catch you in the next video. Charlie, we go by.